All right, you guys, so here's the tea. I got a bunch of new products, and these glasses are one of them. And I am obsessed with these glasses because they're just so pretty. So today's video is going to be based on a bunch of new products. And we are going to make a very dramatic and bomb look. Senior pictures are coming up and stuff like that. Or also wedding. And it's picture worthy makeup. So if you want to learn how to go from this to this, well then keep on watching. So you already know I have my hair up because I need it. I love my hair up because my hair just gets in the way all the time. And to start off, I'm going to be spraying my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. And it's nothing new on my channel. I just really love this to have underneath my skin so it can stay very hydrated. So I'm starting off with my eyebrows and I'm getting the most product on this little part right here. So I am just really brushing it up on the inner part of my eyebrow and then i'll just brush out my eyebrows with the rest of the brush so we are just gonna wait until this dries down a little bit and then i'll start putting on the eyebrow product okay so i think the product dried down a little bit and so i'm gonna be starting off by really outlining the under part of my eyebrow my gosh seriously rain can you be quiet i'm recording a video here all right thanks i am really kind of extending my brow a little bit to kind of give the illusion that i have a longer brow and you can really see the arch a little bit more and then i'm just gonna be filling in the brow and then i'm gonna work my way up to do the top arch Now that it's really filled in on the inner part and the outer part, I'm going to just set it with the Morphe 35O palette. And I'm going to be going in with this dark shade right here and also this light shade. Okay, you guys, so this is one brow done. And I'm going to do the other one off the of camera just to save a little bit of time. And I'll be right back. I literally got back to my house right now. I went to HEB like this because i wanted a black gel eyeliner because i didn't have one since in the picture she uses black gel eyeliner so i went to h2b to go get some and for the eyes oh my gosh you guys don't even know what i'm talking about the look that we're doing today is inspired by this very famous instagram makeup artist and her name is kira and her Instagram is called Makeup by Kira B. And I loved this look when I saw it. I was obsessed. I was like, I need to do this look. And I was really thinking on doing this look for my senior pictures as well. Because it's just so beautiful and so smoky. But it will look so pretty on the eyes. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I prepped and primed my eyes with this MAC Paint Pot. And this is in the shade Soft Ochre. And the palette we're using is the Subculture Palette. I've never had an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette before. And so, yeah, this is my first palette. And I think it's so stunning. It comes with 14 shades. And they're very unique and beautiful colors. And I know before there was a lot of controversy on this palette, but I think they fixed the formula on it. And so to start off with a transition color, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's a light pink shade. It's called Roxy. And I'm going to be using my R37 brush and I'm just going to be applying a real nice base for the rest of my eyeshadows that I put after. Next off, it looks like in the picture that she took All Star Next, which is this really nice shade right here. So I want to be doing the same and placing it on my crease. And I'm using my M433 brush. And I'm just packing it on. Now going back with my R37 brush, I'm just going over that color all star to kind of diffuse it a little and make sure it's blended out with roxy now to go over on top of roxy a little bit i'm going to be taking this yellow mustard shade which is called new wave 
and I'm going to be placing it on the very top. And now taking my Morphe E17 brush, I'm going to be going into this dark shade right here, which is called Rowdy. And I'm placing it on the outer part of my eye. And then going in with my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to blend out the black. And then to cut my crease, I'm going to be going in with what I primed my eyes with, which is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Now that I cut my crease for the base, I'm going to be using this NYX Glitter Glue for the eyeshadow underneath so it can cling on a little bit better. So the shade that we're going to be going in with is this shade right here which is called Adorn. And I'm going in with my Morphe 124 brush and I'm spraying some setting spray on it to get full pigmentation when I place it on my lid. That is such a stunning shade. And then I'm kind of blending those two shades together. I really like this eyeliner because it looks super black and also it comes with a brush. So if you see in the photo, her eyeliner is super thick. So we are going to be doing the same. And as you can also tell, her eyeliner also leads into the black. So we are going to do that as well. And I think she added a little bit of eyeliner into the outer corner just so it could lead into the black. And now I'm grabbing this MAC 219 brush and we're going to try and diffuse it a little bit. Now grabbing my M506 brush, I'm going to be taking Rowdy and I'm going to be blending it out on the outer part of my eye. Now I'm going to set my eyeliner to make sure it doesn't smudge or anything like that. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M432 brush and dipping into the shade Rowdy and kind of going over it. So this is one I done without lashes or anything like that and I'm so obsessed with how it's turning out. And I'm going to do the other eye off of camera to save more time because we don't want to make this video more longer than it is. Okay, you guys, so now that we have both eyes done, we're going to go ahead and start off with the face. So I'm going to be taking this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I just bought this today. I had this $10 thing at Ulta for my birthday. And so this was $10, so I got it for free. I was so happy. Oh my gosh, this feels so weird. Oh, I don't know how I feel about how this feels. Uh, it feels really smooth and everything, but it's super liquidy. I thought it'd be more of a thicker consistency. So far, I like how it looks on the skin and I like how it feels. It feels really nice and smooth. And for foundation, I'm gonna be taking this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer ignore my nail <laughs> i'm placing this on my face as a foundation and then i'll put another foundation on as well so this is the look guys we're done what do y'all think i'm gonna be taking this fenty beauty foundation in the shade 170 and this is very full coverage Now we're adding concealer because we want to look more white, you know? We want to look like Casper by the end of this video. Okay, so for setting powder, I bought the Laura Mercier online. So we're just going to use this original Cody Airspun like the usual. Yeah, because the Laura Mercier is going to take a little while to get here. So now we're going to bronze up, guys. And I got a new product for bronzer. A new Physicians Formula bronzer. Yay! Not broken one. Y'all were probably thinking like a totally different brand. It's cheap. I go with the cheapest one, guys. We're on a budget here. Guys, I just love bronzer so much, but sometimes I think I overdo it. 
Not great now. It's because I just love bronzing my skin. So for blush, I'm going to be going with the same old Cue the Confetti because I don't really spend money on blush. Because, I don't know, I feel like blush, I don't really use it that much. But I think it's pretty. But I like bronzing more. Way more. And also, if you want someone to do your makeup for like senior pictures or something like that, I could totally get someone for you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do it for you guys. I was supposed to use a new mascara for this video. But I used my old one. I'm so impressed with this. I didn't know I could do this. Okay, so what she did with the Laura last time, she totally smoked it out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some of this black stuff on our waterline. This palette kind of does get dirty too. Like look how dirty it is. And I just started using it. So we're gonna totally smoke it out. I'm taking New Wave and I'm gonna blend out the black with it. And I'm using my M506 brush from Morphe. Use code Bianca for 10% off. I wish. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I got this free mascara. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And I got it as the birthday gift from Ulta. And I'm just putting it on my lower lash line. All right, you guys. And for lips, I'm going to be using this NYX lipstick. I don't know if you can see the NYX, but it's all faded. And it's also very old, but it's a pretty color, but look. <laughs> but it's still good, you guys. We could use it with a brush and put it on our lips. Okay, and for the inner corner highlight on my eyes, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm gonna use this first shade right here, which is called In Light, I believe. All right, you guys, well, this is a finished look and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did because this look is just stunning and I am totally obsessed with this look. I am so doing this for my senior pictures. If you guys need anyone to do your makeup for senior pictures, just let me know. I will be able to do it for you. But if you want to follow me on my makeup journey on Instagram, my username is makeup by via with an underscore. So don't forget that underscore at the end. And well, yeah, you guys, this is a finished look. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Love y'all. Why do I keep waving? <laughs> is it supposed to do that? It's like... I don't even, what the, am I supposed to shake it or something? I don't know, that was very weird. Perfect. Guys, it's literally raining right now. Alrighty, I am going to grab my phone. Where's my definer brush? Ah! Wow, this is actually a really good brow. I didn't know I could do that good.